All right, guys. So we got here another advanced tactics guide with Lucio. On, I actually forgot what this map is called, uh, but it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we, we figure it out later. Um, so classes in session. I run. I uh, speed my team up, of course, and then I um, I elevate immediately. Look how I look how I get to this elevated position. He being able to shoot down, and I'm looking for people to knock off the map because the, Lucio is very good at zone control in areas where he can knock people off the map. And I think I run up to yep, yeah, I run up and I knock that guy off the map for zone control. Give me some free, give me a free kill. And um, you and um, this is a, of course a competitive match, so my team is much more. Both teams are much more coordinated than in solo play. Um, and you and you'll notice that when I knock someone off the map. I get um, ultimate charge as if I did their their health and damage. Um, I'm not sure how many people, Lucio's know that, but that's a good way to charge your ult really quickly here. I'm already at 88%. And I stay elevated most of the time, healing my team. Um, now I'm going to go and, um, you know, move forward to reinforce them. Stay back here. I got my ult so I can use it if we, if we need to, but we're actually pushing them off. Now they, they've actually, the enemy team has actually switched to a bunch of Winstons, you know, to actually push back. So let's see how it goes. I get 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 back to my try to get back in front position. I noticed that Winston used his leap to get on the point, which really puts him in a very viable position. So I was actually able to knock him off the map because I know that Winston's leap is on a six or seven second cooldown, something like that. And that went as soon as you use it, and I do it again. I get another Winston knocked off the map. So I killed two Winstons there within the span of like ten seconds because I know that once he leaps on the point. Um, six second cooldown, six or seven second cooldown on his jump. He can't jump again unless he ults. So I was able to get those kills and able to, you know, get momentum back in our favor. Um, so we were, and then we were able to just push and put back to their spawn once their once their Winston push failed here. And notice, and then do I use it? Yes. So notice how I, uh, as soon as my uh, amp comes off cooldown, I use my heal amp um, because I'm paying attention to my cooldown. I want to be using my heal as efficiently as possible here. All right, and I am speeding. I am, um, yeah, I'm just standing around my team, standing back here, standing like right next to cover here. Um, stand right next to cover. Um, I don't want. I don't want to, you know, die to like any kind of surprise. Oh, I want to be able to drop on the line inside of the, as, uh, you know, at a moment's notice. Our Reaper kind of just uh, gets <laughs> secluded off by that. Uh, by that man, he just gets smashed. He's way too far forward there. I could have ran into a force him. I mean, we were winning so much. I could have done it. I chose not to. It wasn't really that big a deal. Um, but um, I noticed that another Winston is back on our point. I speed my team up, uh, get uh, get them on the point. I amp up a heal. Then I get elevate, get to elevation pretty much immediately here. Uh, I want to I want to get a lot of sight. So I'm actually going to reinforce my team here. They have, they have their Lucio ult, so I I, I ult uh, in order to uh, to counter that Lucio ult. And I'm just staying out of the frame. Just, just look at them. I'm just trying to use my mechanics to survive here. You know, get elevated, um, get my get my heal app, which makes it really hard for kill. I can the fact that I can um, heal during combat, so I do die there. I'm gonna actually gonna move myself over. I'm gonna move myself over. You don't need to see two of me. Uh, really quickly here, I just uh, since I am dead, you don't need to see two of me. Uh, especially kids that you can't hear me talking and that's intentional so I can focus on the gameplay There we go. Okay, we're back. We're going back to the game we're on speed, but my team was able to push them off uh, be able to, uh, Push them off and kill them and um, I think we win here so That's the first round. I'm actually gonna show all three rounds just because these rounds are very quick um, rel Relatively quick, so let's go to the next point and I'll probably do a cut to the next round starting out But that was the uh, first round first round Notice I uh, get the elevation, guys. Oh, we're on Nepal. We are on Nepal. We're on the next round. This is the second round in, in the Nepal map. This is Nepal. I know I, I, know I figured it out. Uh, so now I speed my team to combat as soon as the door is open. Um, this is a competitive match, so it's actually best of five. So we're, there's one more round after this. Let's see what I do. Uh, as soon as I get the combat, I switch to my heal buff, and I, you know, I kind of stay back and use these pillars as cover. Just kind of look, look how I bounce around here. Um, so stay in line of my team. I use my amp as soon as it comes off cooldown, and I'm shooting damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm bouncing around, but I'm still able to shoot out a little bit of damage as well. Add some damage to my, you know, for my team's benefit here. And I'm just kind of bouncing around. I'm not really. Uh, no one's really a threat to me. Like, not even West is really a threat to me because I can bounce around and break line inside in a moment's notice using these pillars. Like, I mean, look how I just bounce around the that bounce around the point. Now we we've I believe we secured the point. Now Winston down there. Look how I escape him. Look how I just get height to escape him. I use this center point as height. I don't want to always use the center point as height, um, but it's really good. It's a really good way to escape those short range heroes, um, um, especially when they you know can't shoot 
to get, they can't shoot that far because they're short range. Now I do get down from the point because I actually want to be shooting down uh, artillery fire here. So I don't want to be on that point. That's just that's just another tool in my arsenal to use that that center point to to be evasive. But I I, I do want to be shooting down damage and have a good line of sight on my team. I want to be paying attention to my team's positioning so I can go and heal them when they need me. And also drop out any damage. So we're pushing them. We're pushing, uh, pushing into their spawn again. And I see if they push it back. Yeah, they they do start pushing it back. I use my amp as soon as they come off cooldown again, because I'm paying to that. To that, want to be as efficient as possible. I go, um, I go ult just so we can um continue to push them, uh, push it to their spawn here. There we go. And uh, now I'm moving back to the point because I see someone's um contesting the point. So we do move back, but we are able to push them off here. I'm, uh, we're retreating backwards. I'm retreating backwards. My team retreating back. They they actually pushed the virus out of their spawn. And notice, notice my position. Notice how I move. I'm constantly moving side to side. I'm using using these pillars to jump back and forth. But now I'm just dropping down artillery fire because you know why not? I wanted to get some extra damage. It gives me a little bit of old generation. Also, um, it also de de incentivize or disincentivizes or deters the enemy from going a specific way because there's a bunch of bullets being shot in that direction. Um, so now I'm on the point. This is really dangerous here. I try to I try to back off using my uh using my uh, mechanics, um, using my wall riding, but they have a May who slows me down, makes it hard for me to move back. There we go. Let's check to see who's dead. Yep, I, t I wait, and I see that Mazaria is dead. She's about to spawn, so I'll wait for her so I can speed her back to combat. Um, and then we, oh, they actually take the point. So it, it actually isn't just a complete smash. They actually take the point. Um, I don't go in there immediately. I kind of um, use the stairs as, as de-elevation to kind of drop, drop back what I need to. And I'm, in, I'm up in, I'm just up on the, I'm just up in the point using my movement to stay alive here. I back off. Oh, oh man. I got, it feels like I got knocked into that. It feels like I got knocked into that tracer bomb. I was going to back off. I'm, I think I got knocked, somehow knocked into that tracer bomb. All right, so I, 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 I did die there, but you know you're gonna die. No one's, no one needs to be apt uh, to the spawn, so I just, I just app myself here. And my see my team at Super Point, go team, go team. I go there to join, join them on the point. There we go. And um, I try to get a line of sight on my uh, Genji so I can heal him. There we go. Get some healing on him. Get the healing on him. I'm healing five people right now. Now I'm just gonna practice the main, uh, you know, practice my movement here. I, don't, I really don't need to be up here. Especially since we're gonna win. There we go, and now we can go to the next game. All right, so yeah, third round starting here. Um, again, speed uh, speed my team up as the doors open. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see my team composition, trying to see their team composition, but it hasn't been revealed as of yet. Um, just get some, get some, um, heal, try to get some healing on that guy. Uh, okay, Genji's on me. I'm, I'm really not afraid of Genji. I, I, I really am not afraid of Genji at all. Uh, he can't. He he really can't kill me without his uh without his ultimate. Uh, I'm just too evasive, and I can heal myself during combat. So just a different time. Re who is this? Is this Drek right? Is that is that Roadhog on me? Shooting me in my back? What a jerk! Um, but I did go back and reinforce my team. I actually speed my team up to the to the point here with my speed passive here. And then I, once we get into combat, I switch to my heal buff. There we go. And I stay back a little bit. Then I jump on the point when I think it's uh, you know safe for me to do, or like not suicidal for me to do so. And then I get my uh, my amps going. And I just stay. I st notice how I stay near the walls. I try not to be in the center. I try to use the walls because that allows me to be much more evasive than if, uh, if I was just in the center. I mean, I, I could take advantage of my, advantage of my movement um, if I'm near the walls because they allow me to jump off of them. <laughs> No, okay. Now we have a May who's using that was a good wall on May's part. But now um, I want to drop down suppressing, you know, suppressing fire here. Um, I see there's a Rohawk, and I want to get hooked, so I back up a little bit, and you know, um, I try to stay a lot of sight for. Uh, I don't want to be a lot of sight for too long. There we go. I run in and get the amp on them, and oh yeah, the, the, that was a great Zarya. Oh, just continue shooting here. And notice how I'm kind of moving from cover to cover. It's very subtle, but I do move from cover to cover because I don't. I want to be able to drop on the line of sight on the moment notice anytime I need to get an app on that guy. And here we go, moving to this part of cover. See, you see how I move from cover to cover even on Lucio. I'm not this movie winning lately. I don't have to think about it really because um, I've done it so much. It's kind of just like uh, second nature. But I do move from cover to cover so I can, um, you know, be the most safe while still doing everything I need to be doing: healing people, dropping down damage, you know, surviving. There we go. So Lucio um, runs in. He gets an ult. My team, my team is in really good position. But oh, okay, I do, I do get a counter ult um, to see if we can push up, push the enemy team back. And we, we kind of run in, see if we can take this back. I get, get app. Um, no, notice how um, I continuously um, app, 
uh, heal that Zarya, even though I break line of sight for a split second. As long as I reacquire line of sight within a second, then I've never actually stopped healing her because you have a little grace period. So my entire team got smashed there. Um, so I actually run over so I can uh, add my entire team back to combat. Um, you, you know, via taxi service. This is Lucio Taxi Service, man. Um, and now we're regrouping because I'm actually communicating with my team. This is a, this is competitive. I think at this current point, I'm at level. I'm at rank 57. I'm, I got to uh, 62, so I am currently at 62. All solo queue, 100% solo queue. But at this current point in this game, I'm uh, rank 57 here. And so I, yeah, we move in, moving with my team. Um, you notice I'm still using cover. I'm still using. I'm still using cover. I hear that there's there's a soldier ult, so I run into this. I speed into this room, and I run in. Still using cover. Still using my movement. Get on these walls immediately. As soon as I get on the point, I'm on the walls. As soon as I get on the point, I'm on the walls here. Now I got my ult, so we can counter uh, an enemy an enemy uh, push here. There we go. And I was, and I was, I was pretty much healing that entire time, except when I wanted to speed buff to get out of that, that soldier ult. And here, here we go at the corner, next to cover, just dropping out, suppressing fire, suppressing fire. There we go. Uh, yep, you're getting the heal. I, I really don't want to get hook, hooked by Roadhog. He has that Roadhog hook has a really long range. I don't know how, exactly how far it is, but it's really long. But I'm, that, notice I'm just firing back and forth out of cover. You know, breaking line of sight constantly. Just want to be as safe as possible while, I'm, while also doing damage. I see that my uh, my Genji is a little bit hurt, so I rush over to try to get some heals on him. There we go. And again, I'm, I'm next to cover. No, me, no reason I need to be so far up. I don't, oh, if I'm going to move up, I'm going to move um, cover to cover. And they start a push, and I use my ult combined. And, put, and we just, co our team coordinates our ults because we've been waiting for them to use it. Um, and we just kind of smashed their push. And that was really nice. That was a really nice coordination. Ben, when, uh, in competitive games, the higher rank you get, the more coordinated your teams get. So even though I'm a solo queue, I can still um, communicate with my team and, and um, be pretty coordinated. And not as coordinated as if you had a pre-made, but still pretty coordinated here. So we did win that over three rounds. We just kind of smashed their team. Um, and let's see my stats here. Let's uh, watch my stats and uh, just get a, look at that. Look at that coordination. <laughs> Look at that coordination. She even had my old on there while she was doing that. She even had, and, and my team's asking, um, I told them I'm the a streamer, and my team's asking for my YouTube. And I got 42% of my team's time was taken in healing. That's really good. That's really good. I, I'd say th around 30% to 33% is decent. 34% to 37, that's pretty good. 30, anything above 37, you're doing, you're, you're doing work. So there we go. Of course, I got highest objective time. Of course, highest healing. Even higher than, um, than of course, the, the enemy team's healing. Um, cause I just, I mean, I, I'm alive and I'm healing. I'm doing my job. Um, I'm doing my job very efficiently as well. So here we go. Oh, I'm actually level 59. Actually, I'm actually level 58 for that game. So now I'm actually level 59. So that was, um, um, a advanced tactics guide for Lucio on Nepal. Um, thanks for watching guys. This has been Professor Ganymede. Class dismissed.